Um, let's see. Recording in progress. All right. Awesome. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Those of you just joining us, we are putting down New Year, new tools, whatever tools you're going to be working on today. I will show you what I have, but just a little bit of housekeeping. Um, there's some exciting things happening here, and I will be launching a few courses coming up, both pre-recorded and some that you can join me. Um, things are still in the planning phases, but keep an eye out for that. And then, let's see, and I told you to type your supplies. So yeah, type your supplies and also type right you know, like think about, I know we've been talking about this a lot, but think about what you would like to work on this new year. What would you like to work on this new year? So this new year, I've really, it's kind of overlapping from last year. I'm trying very hard to paint bigger. So this is a 12 by 12 and I, I feel like I'm getting so tight because I usually use my table, so I got myself some extra long brushes so that I'm far away and things are super loose, um, which I, I feel like it it adds, it makes me feel, I don't know, warm and, and like, I don't know, it makes it feel amazing. You know what I mean? Like when you're trying something new. It also could be very frustrating. So those are the two things you can kind of <laughs> watch out for. Um, Lori put down, I'd like to work on composing nature backgrounds with different focal subjects, lighting and shading. That's amazing. All right, I'm really excited about all these new tools I'll be checking out online when I'm supposed to be painting. Because <laughs> I am an expert procrastinator. Um, also, just wanted to share with you, I've been watching a lot of, um, here's the artist. His name is Wolf. Khan. on YouTube he has a lot of um, a lot of oh thank you the abstract botanicals thank you very much um, Wolf Khan has he's an oil pastel person a pastel person I don't know if it's oil here's one of his books and he has not I got this from the library um, Carla says I love Wolf yeah I just I don't know how I found him, but he's passed, but his lectures are online. And some of the things he says, I just have to like, I got myself some post-its and I posted it on my easel. So then when I'm stuck or I'm feeling like, oh man, I can't go on. I should throw all of my stuff away. Um, I look at that and I'm like, okay, this should be fun. This is supposed to be playful. So, Carol says, I went to school with his professor brother. Oh, wow. It's such a small world. Um, hi, Joanne. Okay, Margaret says, I want to do more urban sketching. Um, so many amazing things. What does my post-it say? What is his full name? Okay, so his full name is Wolf Khan. I'll type it again. Um... And his wife, Emily Mason, yes, Carol, is also an artist. Amazing, amazing. Their story is amazing. So if you are like working on something and you just want to listen to somebody talk, it's interesting to just hear him and the way he talks and how he approaches his teaching. And I just put down one of the things he said is, I just work here. So it, he doesn't, you know, sometimes he doesn't take it home get too emotional about what he's working on, follow the brush, um, take advantage of the accidents. So I'm just trying to remember that. All right. Wow, I've said a lot of things. Okay, let's see here. I will show you what is on my desk. Today, I will be using a stick that I have not used before. So this one I picked because it's longer then my other ones, I see, look at this one, this is short. I like to, I like to be fiddly and close. So I'm trying to zoom out and um, zoom in at the same time. You know what I mean? Like try to be loose. I'm seeing a lot of these Matisse paintings where he does 
he paints and then he tapes his brush on the end of a stick or something. And I just want to learn how to do that, you know, learn to let go even more. Um, so I'll be using this stick, which I found on a walk somewhere. I think we were at, um, oh boy, I think we were at a national park and that is where I found that one and I'm not sure which one. Um, and then another little stick, which I thought was fun. I kind of used it a little bit already just to see, but is this considered a stick or a branch? I guess it's both, right? A stick branch? <laughs> Okay, I'll be using that. There's this website called St. Louis Art Supplies and they have been taking all of my money. I, they have like <laughs> tools that I have never seen in other places. Look at this, Mega Sepia Dark Oil Pencil. Like, I don't even know, I just, I was like, I have to try that. I don't know what that is, but I have to try that. And then they, it comes in white. So I grabbed those, um, they were like $2 maybe, I can't remember, but it's St. Louis Art Supply. Um, and then I have this one brush, which I want to use in my work, but I'm not 100% sure how to use it yet. So I'll be playing with that. I also got some colored pencils, which are usually for pastels, but I figured why not Use it for watercolor or mixed media just to try it out. And these are Canson, I don't know how to um, say them. It's M-I and then Tienes, T-I-E-N-E-S, I think. Um, Margaret will help me out. Okay, there you go. I, I knew you would know, Margaret. Um, so those are, those are the kind... These are fun to use. They, I feel like they hold water really well too. They're for pastel, but um, Sandra, don't worry. If you have your video off, no problem. Um, okay, so those are the tools I'll be working on. I'm also gonna try not to use my regular watercolors. I'm gonna use these inks, which are liquid watercolors. So they're just watercolors that I put in little jars. And I use them all the time. I'm kind of living dangerously because I leave them on my desk, sometimes open, and I am clumsy and have been known to have spilled them. So if you do have these, I just, um, you know, encourage you to make sure you keep them kind of covered or um, the only thing is if you cover them too much, it's hard to open. So... Anyway, I think there's a whole bunch of colors here. I think I'm gonna stick with brown and black for this exercise. So we're gonna warm up a little bit here. Get your sketchbook out or a piece of paper, whatever you want. And let's play with our tools. All right, I'm gonna look for a blank page. See, we're just gonna do a bunch of little mark making things. All right, so looking for a blank page. I feel like my, uh, okay. It just feels like I'm lopsided, but I, I don't think I am. What kind of brush is used for ink? I, you know, I'm using my stick and these little things for the ink. So whatever brush you would like to use, the only thing I would suggest is make sure you clean your stuff afterwards. Um, and I have water here. I also have tissue, if you have paper towel, and then um, color pencil, but I'm gonna try not to use those. The only thing about tissue too, I've found is like, I have them around and then I forget that they have paint on them and then I sometimes wipe my face or something and then you get, you know, paint on your face. So just keep that in mind. Um, I don't mind it and my kids sometimes tell me when I have stuff on my face, sometimes they don't. Um, anyway, so let's get started. I'm just gonna jump right in. I'm gonna take my stick and I'm gonna dip it in ink. And if you don't have ink, I'll tell you in a second. If you don't have ink, I have an idea of what you could do. 
So I'm just going to go through and do some lines. Look at that. To me, that's really interesting because things are splitting off. See that? I like that a lot. So just make yourself some horizontal lines. And this does not have to be on your super... I like to keep things in my sketchbook. But if you do not have your sketchbook and you just have paper, like even copy paper is great. I'm finding myself... Um, like being really tight about it. So I'm going to, here's what I mean. I'm finding myself like wanting to use it as a pencil. So I'm going to try to loosen my grip by going farther. Let's see if that does anything. Yeah, you kind of, you know, the goal is to kind of lose control a little bit. So if you have a Pentel pen, something you haven't used in a while, something new. I almost like to go to see how much my ink can go, like how far. I like that a lot. If you have questions, please put it on the chat. Um, also feel free to, there's not a lot of us right now. Oh. All right, so turning it sideways is fun. All right. Um, I'm gonna dip it in my water. So that's my stick. Um, do some dots. Now, if you have, like for example, Loretta has Pentel, or not Pentel, Pan Pastels, maybe Loretta just take the, um, the applicator and then try to see if you could do some loose little marks on your page or if you have a brush pen brush pens are fun um let's see uh see if you could do that all right so that is my stick also it's great if you like try to go horizontally like turn and twist as you go look at that some of these things you don't really get to see um, until you actually try them, so. All right, we're just kind of messing around, keeping things loose. Okay, I'm gonna put that aside. And I am going to try my little stampy, the little branch. So my family and I take, we camp a lot, and we also take a lot of walks. And so whenever we're walking, everybody is like on the lookout for a new brush that mom can take home. Look at that. Now these are some marks that I would not been able to just do with my brush. These are just, you know, very organic things happening with this little tree stump branch. The other side is great too. I already know I'm gonna get paint everywhere. I can feel it. I love how it's unpredictable. So just make a mess. Do you remember in kindergarten when, or when you were young, and they just kind of didn't tell you exactly what you had to make. And you're just kind of free. Look at that. I'm, I might incorporate this actually in a new painting. So these are, are great to do, um, these exercises. Also, <clears throat> sometimes I have absolutely no inspiration and I just do not feel like painting. And this is the kind of thing I will do. Just so that I can show up and do something. Um, some of you might want to know what kind of inks these are. I'll just grab them. They're not really, I say inks, but they're kind of watercolor. They're these liquid watercolors. Come in a bottle. I just put them in these little 
These are actually, um, I got them on Amazon and they are used for makeup, like little makeup tins, I think. So I just, that's what I use, All right? Okay, I'm gonna try my new brush. So mine is all about brushes right now. Um, so see what you have. Just kind of see how far, try to do things really light. Try to press down, ooh, go really light, press down. Um, Sandra says, can, can I, I show, show my um, latest, oh, my latest um, gift? Yeah, sure, hang on one second. I'm spotlit, so let me take myself off. Um, and Sandra, I, where are you? Let's see. Sorry. Oh, okay. Oh, wow. It says mom. Okay, hang on. Let me spotlight it real quick. Oh, that's so sweet. Is it a sketchbook? Yeah. Oh, great. That's really cool. I yeah, love it. Oh, and you're playing in it. That's the best I, thing. Uh, yeah. Yeah, awesome. Your daughter knows exactly what to get you. She did. That's yeah, great. That I'm gonna have fun with this. That's awesome. I love. I love that. I love it when the kids, like when my kids see me doing something, and then they're like, "Oh, can I try that?" You know what I mean? Like, yeah, absolutely. I have a. Um, I have my nephew who is two years old, who came. Oh, maybe he's fifteen months. He came into the studio and he started painting um, on some things and I'll show you. So it, it was my fault because I left my stuff around but he added some oh. beautiful marks <laughs> on my artwork and I, his mom was like so upset and I said don't worry we can make it work. That's what sketchbooks and, and painting practices are for. But yeah, so that's the brush that I'll be using. I'm curious to see how these, um... oh, okay, they kind of feel like these Creator Mega Sepia Dark Oil. They just feel like a regular color pencil to me. But maybe when I start playing with them, I don't know. Sometimes you buy something and it's like, oh, that's not exactly what I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be like juicy and like, but this one's not, but that's okay. Sandy says, I was just trying a new large sable brush. I pinched the end and dangled it on the, over the paper. Ooh, that was freeing. Ooh, Sandy, I can't wait to see that. You'll have to show us that in the Facebook page or group. Um, Glow says, I only brought my colored pencils, so I'm playing with a mark maker. Yes, that's all you have to do is mark make on this first few parts. All right, so now, do you all feel okay? Does that feel good? Just messing around with the tools you have? Um, let's see here. When I, let me ask you this, when I remove my spotlight, and I ask people to hold their stuff up. Are you able to see that too? Sometimes, like if you put it in gallery view, could you see? Okay, great. So let's hold up what you what you have. Hi, Louisa. Happy New Year. All right. Let's see. Ooh, Carol. Carol, you can put that on your wall right now. It looks amazing. All right. That looks great. Oh, Margaret. Look at you doing them trees already. Oh, Susan, great. I mean, look at this. This is just like the first few, um, first few times and it's just mark making. And also, is are you learning something from the marks you're making? Are you, um, is there something coming to you? Like something you like about it? Maybe put that on the chat because I would love to hear what you're learning. Like for me, you know, I had forgotten about these um, tools and I'm out of all of these that I've tried, I'm really loving this little 
branch. So I'll be looking for that when I'm taking a walk. And then these guys, I don't know if I love them yet. I, um, they're okay. <laughs> so sometimes you buy things and then sometimes, you know, they work and sometimes they don't. All right, Judith says it's freeing me up from my expectations. Yes, we don't want to be um, stuck, but we just, we just want to, we want to be free. Because there's no rules. When you're coming to paint with joy, we're just going to play and we're going to paint and have fun. Carol says playing with hard and soft pressure. Oh, right. So hard and soft pressure. Definitely. That's a good point. Okay, so we'll put this aside and we'll let it dry. Um, and then take out another sheet of paper or um, I'm going to use my colored pages here. I think I'm going to try this blue. And we are going to try using our new tools only. Now, this is going to be tricky because some of you might not have all the new tool or, you know, pencils. You could use a pencil if you want to. Um, Carla says this is her first time using a stick. Cool. What kind of stick is that, Carla? Is it like um like an oil pastel stick? You'll have to type and let no, us. No, it's just a, a branch, like a, a branch. Oh, stick. a branch. Yes, From yes. A tree. Yes, so definitely. I've had it on my desk. I've had it on my desk for about a week, and I was like, I've got, I'm, like, I'm so glad you reminded me. Yes, okay, so that is what I would like for you to do. I know it's cold here in New York, but wherever you are, when you are on a walk, also be looking out for pine cones mm -hmm. or like different things that might make great marks on the page because you just never know, all right? Um, so now I am going to take my, we have a different scene today. It's like a forest scene. I don't know why it just, this one just kind of, um, it, it, it like gives me, a, a serene vibes. Like it, it makes me want to go towards the light over there where it's like, <laughs> I don't know. It's dramatic. This, this page. So, um. I actually, that's the what, that's the reason why I picked this. I know kind of normally we're like flowers and things like that, but I just wanted a little change. Uh, Margaret says, you'll like the, that's how you spell it, guys, the mi tientes. I'm saying it in my Filipino way. So how do you say that, Margaret? It's French, mi tent. Okay, mi tent. tent mi it just means tented. Oh, okay. Me tent. All right. Because the texture is like watercolor paper and it works well with wet media, but not too wet. Right. All right. So I'm going to start. What I'm going to do is I'm going to sketch. Thank you, Margaret. Um, just some trees or what are these? Yeah, the trees. Just really loose. And then there's some really dark spots down here. And I'm just using my mega white chalk oil. I think it's okay. I was kind of hoping for it to be oily, but it's not as oily as I would like, but maybe I need to vary the pressure. Maybe that's what's, that's what I need to do. This is a new tool, like I said, and it's from Austria. So yeah, take a look at the St. Louis art supply place it's online they have some things that they have papers that um they have papers that i've never seen before too uh mary says i love st louis yeah it's really great um let me show you these are legion papers i bought a bunch of these and they're like a dollar 99 and they're just fun because it's all sorts of different kinds of papers. They have them there. So I just stocked up and got some that are craft colored. I don't know. Maybe I'll do like mini, mini sketch sketches in them or something. So I take this with me when I'm traveling. I always take a bunch of stuff with me when I'm traveling. And honestly, I don't always use them all, but 
At least I have them with me. <laughs> That's what I say to myself. All right, so I'm just being loose, just adding trees. I'm actually using the whole page. Um, somebody else was saying up here, I'm trying to, let's see. Somebody had said earlier about being stuck in postcard. Let me look here. I'd like to, Luann says that she'd like to paint bigger. Um, so I'm trying my best to, you know, paint bigger also. It's not always easy. Because a bigger page kind of, um, it scares me a little. But sometimes you got to do things that scare you. So I'm just putting a bunch of marks in where I think the darkest of the darks will be to remind myself. Right? I, I'm also trying to notice where the lights are coming from. Sometimes I, um, I find myself that my values are not as strong as I would like for them to be. So I'm really trying hard to focus on that, making sure that, you know, I, the lights are really light. Um, Margaret says, bigger paper equals bigger tools like brushes and more use of your arm and body to create marks. Yes, that's true. I am finding that, um, I am finding that I'm needing to stretch more, you know, before when I'm, when I'm working. And standing up has really been different for me because normally when I'm using watercolor, I'm just sitting down, hunched over all the time. So... That's my new year thing, 2023. I want to stand up and paint. All right, so now I'm gonna use my weird brush. I just did a whole bunch of, I'm not getting the actual, all the trees, I'm just getting the energy of the trees and then I'm just gonna use some of my inks and loosely, loosely just Lay these down. I love, I'm actually loving how, you're right, Margaret, I love how these two things kind of work together with the toned paper. It's scary at first, but once you start to do it, it's kind of like, oh, I'm using brown ink. Trying to leave some marks or some parts where I know light is hitting. And I'm noticing how the mega white chalk oil is reacting to my inks. It's kind of coming through the inks, which I, I like. Yeah, the oil pencils are really permanent and they'll come through your media like they'll, they'll stay there, which is really fun. I love it. So now I love it again. At first I wasn't sure. No. <laughs> oh man. It's so funny how it's like, oh, I don't really like this. See, if I didn't try it using something else, I would not have known. Also, just, an, just, you know, like we have some changes that I was, not changes, but upcoming courses and different things coming up in 2023. I also want to let you know, I am going to probably transition, as those of you are, that are in the Facebook group, transition us out of Facebook. Because I always feel like um, Facebook is a, it's very hard for me to be there just because I get very distracted. I, I, I sit there and then I'm like, oh my goodness, it's been a whole day. It hasn't been a whole day, but it feels like, you know, longer than I would like. And um, I will keep you posted. We're probably going to go to a different discussion kind of board where we can focus on just art 
and then you don't get distracted by all the other things that Facebook wants you to buy. Um, <laughs> so I'll keep you posted on that. But yeah, I like how this is, I, I'm verging on to making it too wet. So I'm going to try to take a break from that. It's looking like a Halloween scene right now on my page. Um, there's a lot of greenery, so I'm going to try to add that. Let's see. I have green. So just getting my green ink out. And I'm just going to use the new brush and just give the energy of leaves. This, I, I think also why I picked this scene is I miss hiking. Um, I miss camping, I miss hiking. <laughs> I just, I, I don't know. This just reminds me of a really cool trail to go visit. All right. And I don't know that I love how it's looking right now, but that's okay because we are just experimenting and playing. Sometimes when I have inks too, I um, mix them together. So I'll do that. I'll take some, I think that's black and then green for some darks. But I'm feeling like my painting is really, really dark, but that's okay. It's also a challenge to use, uh, to use this type of brush that I'm finding, but you know, you have to play with the tools you have. Um, Victoria says it's been so hot. I haven't been for a hike in a bit going tomorrow. Oh, I'm jealous. I took the dog out for the walk, but it's not the same as an actual hike. So I hope you enjoy your hike, Victoria. I'm a little bit jealous. There's a lot of branches falling down, not falling down, but like have that look like they're falling. Taking some tissue. I am really liking how the white of this oil is like showing right through what I did. I, I really am enjoying that. Let's see. I think I'm going to break out my oil pastels just because. Just to add a little bit of texture, I'm going to take out some oil pastels and because I feel like everything's so dark here, just going to add a little bit of light and, and it's, you know, there's a lot of dot making in this one for me. So you're really, I'm really not trying to get every single leaf shape. I'm just kind of twisting my hand, seeing what that looks. All right, so Gail's that, Gail says, went at 16 degrees, beautiful sunshine, a resting moose just off the trail. Wow, a moose. That's amazing. When we took the kids camping, we went to Yellowstone and bison are just like everywhere there. They're just like hanging out. Um, unfortunately, people like to touch them, I guess. So there's always like a, like a guard, not a guard, but like a national park ranger around to keep everybody else safe.
See, even as I'm challenging you to use new tools, you can incorporate some of your old tools in with that too. This is how mine looks like right now. I'm in the phase where I'm like, do I even like this? But you just have to trudge on and see how it works. That's one of the things that Wolf Khan was saying. Don't come into your work with preconceived ideas. He's just like, let's just see what comes up with what I'm making. I'm sure there's times for that, of course, when you have a plan, you know what you're doing, but I can't, I have a hard time creating that way sometimes. I like to be spontaneous and just get the energy and the feeling of the piece. And not all of my work will always be something that I want to do, especially, or like, especially if it's like, this kind of experimentation like i'm just trying tools and different papers and just playing so if it's something you don't necessarily love do not be too hard on yourself i'm just hoping mine still looks like um, a forest <laughs> Not just like a bunch of lines on the piece of paper, <laughs> which is, it was feeling like that for a second there. All right. Okay, then I'm going to add some detail in the back. Just using this oil stick also. I do like that you can, um, with this dark oil pencil, that you can kind of control it a little bit. So that part I like. And the white I like now since it's showing up. It's like giving texture when I'm, I'm working. So some of them are kind of far away, some of them are close. Keep that in mind. Get some more ink for me. Everybody doing okay? I hope so. All right, great. I only gave you one picture. Normally I try to give you two, but I figured you can choose one to use your new tools on to show us um, as homework. I'm going to add some more leaves now. I'm getting distracted by these, like, the tree barks. I, or just the trees. I just, I keep forgetting to do the leaves. So I'm going to add that right now. And make my forest a little bit more lush. So using the new brush, just being really loose. I keep thinking I'm slanted here. Okay, there we go. Glow says that they have kangaroos. Oh, wow. That is the one thing I have not seen in the wild yet. That's pretty cool. I'm going to focus on these ones that have a lot of branches. But yeah, be thinking about what you want to work on. Some of you have put down working bigger also. Um, just, you know, it'd be great to write what you're thinking about, you, what you'd like to work on, on a post-it even, so that you can put that on your wall to remind yourself. The reason why I have a lot of these pieces behind me is to remind myself um, what I want to work on. Either I want to work on, you know, 
doing certain things or making sure certain certain techniques if there's this one landscape behind me i like to use that as an example to myself so that i can make sure to remind myself to do these crazy mark making because sometimes i really do get stuck in my ways and i just want to do the same thing over and over again Okay, I have not used my big the big stick yet, so I'm going to try to use that. Oh, I like how it's um doing these crazy marks that I forgot I did in my sketchbook see it hasn't even been that long and I've already forgotten what I was doing earlier so it's good to take notes of what you like what you don't like so then you can remind yourself later on I'm gonna use my little weird branch I think I went a little crazy because right, you know, with adding some of this stuff, but that's okay. You have to interpret it as your own. If you have oil pastel, it's really fun to see them play together. The watercolor, the oil pastel, the, the different tools. So if you have that, I you know I encourage you to get that out and also add it to there. I might add some yellow. Just because it's really bright in some spots. And then just defining some more of the branches. I love, I love this, like, I love seeing where everybody's from and Victoria, Sandra, Glow, I mean, amazing. How to do leaves when using colored pencil? That is a great question. So if I was using colored pencil, let me see. To do the leaves loose, how I would approach it is I would just take this and since I'm going kind of loosey, I would just, you know, make squishy marks. Squishy? Just a lot of like scribbly marks. But if you want like nicer leaves, you can define them a little bit more if you want. Like here, I kind of defined it a little bit, but for this one, I'm feeling like they're all kind of just sponged on there. Remember that when, um, when there was a lot of sponging, um, sponging going on with like wallpapers and um, different things like that, where people would like use different tools. So if you even if you have a sponge right now, like some people have that in their arsenal, a sponge. I'm throwing in some strange peach color. There we go. Okay, so I'm going to put this one aside and I'm going to take another sheet of paper out and I'm going to try it again, only in a different way. So that's my first attempt. I'm going to put it down to dry. Let's see. 
Different color. What did I do with the rest? Hmm. Has that ever happened to anybody? Like you set something down and then you can't find it? Like two seconds. <laughs> I All the time. Yeah. I don't know what I do. You oh. only find it when you stop looking for it. Oh, that's what my mom says. My mom says that to me all the time. And I'm all like, but like, it, it, my mind won't let it go though. You know, like when they say, you only find it when you can't, you know, you're not looking. But I'm like, okay, I'm not looking. But in my head, I'm like, I'm really looking. You know what I mean? <laughs> but yeah, so now I am going to, I switched to a different color just to mess around and I'm going to try the brown dark sepia oil wow it's so great and like I said to see where everybody's from and by coastal got two by US by coastal sisters here Lindsay says awesome I um, moved to America when I was 12, but um, my dad was going to move us to Australia at first. And um, I got sick when we were on our way to Australia, and he took that as a sign that maybe we should go to the US. So we ended up in the US instead. <laughs> it was so funny, but. Violetta is from Buenos Aires, Argentina. Awesome. I love I love seeing where everybody's from. Love, love, love it. My trees are looking kind of the same, so I'm going to change them up. Washington State, Montreal. Um, we do earlier Alaska, Colorado. Um, Zoom meetings for Europe, as you said before. I will try. Um, Sandy's from Texas. I will, that is something that I will think about. I was, when I do the in person classes that are, um, I'm, that I'm planning on, I, I will try to keep that in mind because I do know it's sometimes hard with the time frame and, you know, some people are awake, like in the UK, I know Pam is probably um, staying up right now. Um, and some of you are staying up and so I'm sorry, but also I'm glad you're here. Originally from the Philippines, grew up in Hawaii. Mahalo for the session. Awesome, Felice, Felicia. That's great. Oh, I love it. New Hampshire, New Jersey. For, we're all over the world here, which is amazing. My family's still in the Philippines. I haven't been back in a while, so hopefully I'll get to visit them at some point. But yeah. Okay, so here's my super loose sketches. Just using my weird brush and just making marks. And we're not looking for perfection. We're just trying to get the energy of the trees on the paper. I say that a lot, mainly also to remind myself um, oh my goodness, Vani from Qatar, it's going to be 3 a.m. What are you doing? You need to go to bed. <laughs> oh no, I do not want to be responsible for you being so tired. I hope you get some coffee. You can also watch the recording, Vani, but this is fun hanging out. So I can understand. But also, I, I hope, I hope you get some rest because 3 a.m. is very early. My trees are looking wonky. 
but sometimes that's the kind of trees I like. And I'm just dropping ink down. Taking some and just dropping them in certain spots. I just love how watercolor, I think that's why it's my favorite. Um, because it is, it's very, I, in my life, my, I work as a business manager, so I have a lot of numbers and things have to be a certain way. And so when it comes to art, I just love the looseness of everything, um, and how I can't control it. Like this tree right here is kind of being crazy and that's okay. Um, Louisa wants to know where I bought this brush. So Louisa, I just went to the store. This one I think is from Michaels because it's Artist Loft. So usually that's a Michaels brand. But I just went to Michaels and I just had a coupon. So I tried to find the weirdest brush I could find. And this was really weird and I just picked it up. So sometimes that's fun too. Just go through the store and kind of see some, you know, if you check and see what's something that you normally wouldn't buy. And if you have a few dollars that you want to spend, try a new brush. I threw in some green and I don't know if I love it, but that's okay. The only thing is, um, the white color chalk, if I draw it on top, it doesn't show up as well. But if I draw it during, um, it is, not during, but like as I'm, you know, without the water, it seems to work okay. Ooh, it feels good pushing it. Like, like really giving it my arm. That feels good. It sounds crazy, so I'm not gonna do it too much. All right, let's see. Joanne says, my cat loves your voice. <laughs> Hi, Joanne's cat. I hope you're getting to relax. Um, you're welcome, Louisa. Yeah, if you have any questions, just put it on the chat. would love to answer them. I love how these two are kind of dancing. The oil with the different kind of, I don't know, with the watercolor. I like how that looks. Um, let's see. We have about seven minutes. Can you believe that? It just like flies. Like, I, I just feel like once I sit here and I hang out with you guys, it, it doesn't seem to, I don't know. It's It should be longer, I feel like. But if you don't eat or if you're just having breakfast right now, if you're up late, you're probably like, oh my goodness. Please, Joy. How long are we going to be here for? Um, thanks to my sister. Okay. And that's from Beth. She has to go. Oh, awesome, Beth. Thank you for joining us. Um, Glow, never heard of liquid watercolor. Where did I... I bought these from Blick Art Supply. And they are... Just huge bottles of liquid watercolor, which is strange, right? Because it's liquid and it's watercolor, but yeah. I always feel weird saying that. I'm using liquid watercolor, but yeah, that's what they, they are. And I like them because they're really, I am an impatient painter. And so I like things to be really fast. And here I just dip, dip right in there. And if it spills, it spills. I just, you know, come back and clean it later. They come in a variety of different colors. I think I have purple, red, um, orange is fun, yellow I use a lot. But yeah, they are great. 
Okay, I'm gonna add a little bit more green. So this week or this month in January, I encourage you to look I don't know if you're like me, but I have a lot of art supplies that I forget I even have that I, you know, just stash. I just keep them. And then I'm like, oh my goodness, I forgot. I, I totally forgot I had that. So look through your stuff. See what you can play with. Um, I just discovered my jelly plates. Do you know what that is? They're like, uh, like they feel like jello. But um, they make prints. I just found them in the closet and I, I took them out and I'm like, I'm gonna play with this this year. So that's what I encourage you to do. Um, Deb has to go, that's okay, Deb. Thank you for coming and being with us. All right. I'm gonna add my branches. My trees look like they're just floating everywhere, but that's okay. <laughs> and the thing is, sometimes I finish them and sometimes I just leave them. So if you are not in love with what you're doing and you're just like, eh, don't feel like you have to finish them. You can just leave it if you want or finish them, whatever you would like to do. All right, so let's see here. Colleen, thank you for coming. Victoria says she they use she used watercolor, neocolor, oil pastel ink, and gouache. Oh, gouache! That's a great idea. I forgot about gouache. Um, Gail used pastel pencils, oil pastels, which I never used. Um, I usually avoid. This has been so much fun. Great. The white piece you used. Do you mean this? The Muriel, is this what you mean? It is a create a color white chalk. Use some watercolor crayons. The small one, small white. This is an oil pastel, so I don't know if that's what you mean. These guys are just broken oil pastels. They break on me and then I can't bear to throw, you know me guys, I can't throw anything away, so. They just, they just sit and sit in my thing here. All right, we have about two minutes. Um, so for homework, this, I'm gonna leave mine the way it is and I hope you have um, some that you fell in love with and then some tools that you really enjoy doing or using. Um, watercolor crayons and plain watercolor. Watercolor crayons are great, right? I love using them when I'm um, sketching out at first because depending on how light your watercolor is, they kind of fade away. Um, liquid watercolor is ink, Jordan Metallus. Love this session. Great, awesome. Um, yeah, so please post to the Facebook group and um, let me know, ask questions there. I'll keep you posted with some of the things that are happening in the background but I would love to see what you did. Hi everyone. I wanted to hop back on here and tell you a little bit more about Painting with Joy. Painting with Joy is a monthly paint hangout time where we gather together. I'll give you the photo ahead of time or reference topic and ideas. Um, and then we'll gather together right now via Zoom and we will talk, you can ask me questions, we'll show each other your work, and it's just the time to just relax, um, just chill, hang out, and create some art together. So information about Painting with Joy will be in the description below. Um, and yeah, definitely check it out and register if you haven't already. Hope to see you there.